All right, pay close attention. I'm about to show you how to import a custom uh, waveform into your Super 6. First thing you're going to do is plug in that USB cable, and then you will see uh, some drives pop up. Use the one with the folder um, that's called waveforms. That would be this one. The other folders in that same drive are patch banks, sequences. Go into waveforms, highlight all of them, and back them up into a folder of your choosing, and leave them be. Right, and then close that Super 6 window because you don't want to mess with that. Not a big deal though, because it's right protected at the moment. We're gonna undo that a little bit later here when I show you a little trick on how to boot it up in, in the mode where you can actually import it. So, all right, over to my left is some custom uh, wave uh, tables from Serum, and I'm just gonna bring them in as uh, a wave form. I'm gonna right click here and open it with Audacity, and it loads. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to load in one of the uh, stock waveforms from the, uh, the Super 6. Um, but here's the issue. You can't just click and drag. Oopsies. You can't just click and drag them in. It won't let you. It'll do this. It'll give you this error, right? So I'm going to go to File, Import, Raw Data, right? Then I'm going to locate it in wherever you saved it. Right. In my case, it's game drive. Um, oops, major OSD and Super Six and then backup. I'm just gonna use WT. Change it up a little. All right. When you import that raw data, you're gonna want it to be signed 16-bit PCM. The byte order needs to be default and DNS or whatever the hell that means. Um, and then one channel mono. Leave the rest like this. Import. Boom. You're done. So now it's imported. I'm gonna hit Control E to zoom in on that. Right? It, interesting, right? What I'm seeing here, what it looks like is, it looks like it is. Yeah, it, they're it's like one. They're like reverse. So the and I think I might be wrong here, but maybe the left and right channel are different. Um, maybe it it draws a stereo oscillator from two cycles basically. So 496 is the sample count where I've been told. I think that's what I'm referring to. You can tell I'm a little bit out of my element here. <laughs> I had to go by, uh, I had to go off of some advice from some guys in the Facebook group that hadn't thought of this yet, but they were working on another means. It just, uh, the program they were using couldn't export in the file type they needed it. And I figured out how to get Audacity to export it in the WS6 file type. So anyways, the real reason why we bring in the stock uh, waveforms is, is for the length, uh, right? So, um, but we're gonna do something interesting here, I think, for fun. I'm going to grab one of these over here, right? Um, yeah, there, right? And I'm gonna highlight it. There, highlight this, right? So, <laughs> bear with me here, so there. Right. Um, Control C. Scroll back over. And what I'm going to do is paste it right there. Get to the actual things here. Here, another thing I'm going to point out. I'm not going to show you how to do it this time, but you can actually draw. You can hit the draw button right, or the um the draw tool right there and literally draw a waveform. But it's really hard to do in any sort of organized fashion, but I'm sure you can come up with some crazy results that way, but that's kind of like rolling the dice. So this one, I'm just importing something from Serum because I'm on original uh, in this instance. Anywho, um, right here, I think I'm gonna wanna highlight this. I'm gonna wanna paste in the new waveform. I'll do it first is I'm actually gonna delete the rest of it. Right, let's go back to where we were. Still got to fill this in to this point, right? Because this is our marker there. We have to fill this sample up here, fit up to there. Fingers crossed here. Oh, I'm doing something right. That looks almost about almost right. Um, let's see what I'm gonna do here. Paste it a little bit further. <laughs> the hell of it. Why not, right? Paste it a little earlier. And a little bit further. We're probably going to get some artifacts. Yeah, we're probably going to. Oh, well. OK. 
Okay, we're fine. So right there, oh, there, where I would cut everything else off. Okay, and just to be sure, it has a little snapping enabled. Anything past there, and now snapping enabled, it should be, they should match up pretty much identically. And they do. Yeah, they do. That both. Yep. Okay. We're going to have one that sounds a little different than the other. And that'll answer our question. Well, I'm probably not even going to be able to tell when I import it, but maybe we'll find out, and that's how they're functioning as stereo oscillators. But it is a bit odd. This could be one cycle, but I have a feeling if he said they're stereo oscillators, I have a feeling we're actually dealing with two here. And then and uh, somehow the Super 6 splits these in half. That's it's just, it's, it can't be just coincidence that Serum is using, you know, half of one of these for one cycle for their wave tables or waveforms added up it's one wave table anyway sorry to banter sorry to ramble um next step we're going to do is oops we're going to uh go down here the mb saw and we're going to click on that arrow go down to format 16-bit pcm right need it to be 16-bit pcm uh at this point we can delete what we're working with w2 but hypothetically speaking just just fyi if you wanted to, you could go ahead and draw. Oop, we gotta zoom in here. You could go in here and just start. Dr Damn it! <laughs> start just drawing shit like that, right? And just completely mangle the um, the existing wavetables, um, and then save them and then load them. <laughs> you know, whatever you'd want to do. But you know, like I said, it's gonna be pretty inconsistent results because there's no there's no like straight line tool in this that I know of. <laughs> Anyways, let's get rid of that. We know it's at the right length. Go back to my regular tool here. Now it's time to export it. All right, so I'm going to go to export as audio. Control shift E. When this screen pops up, the save as type is going to need to be other uncompressed files. Your header is going to be raw, headerless. And encoding is going to be signed 16-bit PCM. You're going to name it w whatever slot you're planning on taking in or you know taking up you're going to name it that so for this one it's going to be w uh 12 dot oopsies w12 underscore dot ws6 delete the raw part right that is our file type w12 or the dot ws6 is our file type file name is going to be w12 dot uh, underscore dot ws6 right i have it in my send out folder you can save it wherever you want just make sure you know where it goes hit save you're going to get this pop up right here and you're going to click yes and we're done you can save that if you want i'm not i don't care um it's in my send out folder w12 right so now we are almost ready to send it to the super six let me jump out of uh, this mode in OBS and go back to the camera. There we go. Okay, uh, power down your Super 6 and unplug the USB cable. Shut up, right? Next thing you're going to do is hold the patch button. Oops, he's on. i got to power this down. Next thing we're going to do is hold the patch button and power up your Super 6. Good. Let go. Um, and then plug your uh, USB cable back into the Super 6 now. Those folders will pop up for me. I don't know if they will for you, but you'll see them. The drives will show up. That one. All right. Now, this waveforms folder can be edited. All right. So I'm going to drag W12 in here. And I'm going to click, and it's going to say the destination already has a file named w12.ws6, and I'm going to put replace the file in the destination. Boom. We are done. Unplug your USB cable. Power off your uh, Super 6. And power it back on. 
I probably should have recorded what W12 uh, sounds like, but I'm sure you have a Super 6 and you can figure, you can know, you know already. Um, it certainly doesn't sound like a saw, that's for damn sure. All right, that's a stock saw. And then we're going to go to Wave here. We're going to go to W12 and fingers crossed. Hey, look at that. I think it is a two octaves up, <laughs> or it's an, uh, not so, two octaves. Because it was not, instead of just one cycle, we were dealing with two, as you saw in Audacity. I think it's an octave higher for, because of that reason. Oopsies, sorry. See how that compares to the regular saw. something new i liked uh w16 is the bsod square wave um from serum i really like this one put some distorted filter on there Probably should have used that one for the example, huh? Well, if you like that one, that one's called BSOD Square. Uh, and that one's also in, a, in the Serum um, catalog. If you don't have Serum, um, I, you can get a monthly uh, subscription to Serum um, through Splice. I'm not trying to plug Splice.com, but it is pretty useful uh, for samples, um, drum samples too. That's what I typically go to it for. But um, yeah, that's how I got Serum. I just paid over time. But, you know... Hypothetically, you could pay the first ten bucks and then just copy and paste those, all those waveform, the wavetables, and have a lot more to work with. So, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Post up any questions if you have them. Otherwise, uh, best of luck and remember to follow the steps very carefully, and um, to export exactly as shown. All right, thanks for watching.